Hey, Castle Clash. I had a request to do a video on the Druid's ability, <clears throat> and I thought it would be a, a great opportunity to do more of a uh, segment on YouTube for Castle Clash, Clash, like 101, kind of, <clears throat> maybe not uh, advanced techniques or anything, or, or high-level dungeons or anything. Um, and I, I thought that would be a great idea. Uh, maybe this would be a good place to start. Uh, someone had asked to go over the druid's ability, and that might seem kind of something that everyone would know. I mean, the druid himself is the staple to the entire game. Uh, I believe his heal and his attack buff are quintessential to this game. Um, yeah, he's really <coughs> he's really one that you can't. You can't really do without. Um, as far as his ability goes, energetic. Uh, you restore your HP for your allies. Uh, I believe it starts at two. So two people, two heroes, and every time you level it up, you gain another one. You know, so right now mine's at a four of nine, and it restores the HP of five nearby allies. So this level 4 is really the optimum level uh, because in the arena he'll be healing everyone including himself uh, and in a raid <clears throat> or a dungeon he heals all your heroes uh, and hopefully at some point or another whether you're beginner level, mid level, advance you raid and dungeon with no troops um, there are numerous times where I find that the troops actually get in the way, they actually hinder what my heroes are trying to do. Uh, like the druid is a perfect ex example. I mean, a, a, a troop, you know, uh, a seagull, a, a griffin can come along and take one of those heals and take it from a hero, one of my other heroes that may need it. Um, and obviously a, a spirit mage is is uh, much more pertinent than a seagull. So I'd much rather have her alive than the, the stupid griffin. Um, but the second part of this, the, the attack buff, uh, <clears throat> that is that is something else. Um, and 25%. Once you start getting into the higher levels here, like uh, Spirit Mage with 3154, Pumpkin Duke with 3164, Ninja with 3166, those, that 25%, you really start to see really large increases. Um, it's just great. It, it really is. And uh, the buff itself lasts for five seconds on all of those that he healed. Now, <clears throat> there have been a lot of people that ask me, you know, if, let's say, your team, let's say you have a 5 out of 5 revitalized druid. Okay? Instantly, he procs, he heals but there's no one to heal, no one's missing HP, they still get the attack increase for the entire five seconds. And you can see that in the green ring around the hero at the base. Uh, and I'll, I'll run a dungeon or something and, and demonstrate it and, and point it out. But uh, no matter what, the heroes that are, have been healed, that have gotten the buff, <coughs> will have their attack raised by 25% for those five seconds. Um, and talent wise, the druid can really, uh, he can really be really good with a lot. Revitalize, Berserk, Sprint. Um, back in the day, War God was absolutely amazing. It would increase his heal for whatever percentage of War God you had, 30% increase. And that was that was huge because the way the game calcs work are with a war god, 30% increase goes to the damage stat first, and the damage stat is a much larger percentage than as if, than if you were just to t put an additional 30% on the buff. So you're actually you're actually buffing from a larger base, and it was creating some ridiculous heals. I remember my druid in 
the 80s was healing for 6500s you know and it, it takes a seven star druid to to heal for for uh 6000 so um it really can go a lot of ways i love sprint on my druid and a lot of other players run sprint on a, a lot of other heroes and they they really like it uh, i know San 7 runs sprint on a lot of his heroes it works out pretty well i know i had my my doubts about it in the beginning when i first started playing but it, it's there's basically no wait time in between obstacles in a raid so it's re it's really neat uh let's see if i can kill two birds with one stone i've been getting four mans on this let's see if we can get the showcase the druid on here and a four man so you can see him heal it's hard to see on the spear mage after he heals there's a green ring at the base of every hero what you can really see are the bubbles the green little bubbles coming up off of him from the floor so right now my druid 117 with level 4 energetics healing for 5497 which isn't half bad I know in uh, Mange's video his druid's healing for like a gajillion so use restoration there because I might lose the spirit mage because that arrow tower that archer tower gets me gets me every time um, it's really 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 hard to have a six star hero tank two archers at the same time so you, in this dungeon the key to formatting is really splitting the aggro on those archer towers But this, I love this. Um, Connor One had just asked me how the best way to power level this right here, formatting this dungeon, is incredible EXP. Uh, not only because, <clears throat> number one, you have a chance at 37 shards, but number two, it's 63 something, I think. There, 37 shards, 63 45 EXP split between four heroes, and you can gem dungeon runs. Heck yeah just keep that EXP going. I'll do another video uh, for Connor on another way to power level. Um, I've been getting anywhere from 60 to 70 thousand EXP uh, only split between five heroes. So, and that's with this base build. Um, <clears throat> so, hopefully I was able to capture enough of the druid healing, but uh, I will do segments per hero so we'll just let this one stand as castle class 101 the druid and I'll keep bringing him out so stay tuned